Kensington Palace staff or an workaholic Meghan Markle to slow down, as the Duchess is showing no signs of reducing her royal duties in the run-up to her due date. Meghan and Prince Harry are expecting their first child in spring and the Duchess of Sussex has been showing off her blooming bump this Christmas. However, one royal expert has reported Meghan is a workaholic who has got where she got by being a certain way. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine, the Daily Mirror's royal correspondent Russell Myers revealed, certain members of staff and the aides are encouraging her to slow down a little bit. Perhaps she is taking on too much. The exact due date of the Queen's ninth grandchild hasn't been given but it is expected in March or April 2019. Meghan will unveil her patronages at the start of the new year, for which she has been preparing throughout the year by holding secret briefings with organizations and charities including CAMFD, the Campaign for Female Education, which works in several African countries. Education for women in developing countries will be the core focus of her public work. Meghan is a passionate campaigner of CAMFT, which believes the best way to overcome poverty is through the education of women and girls in the poorest rural communities in sub-Saharan Africa. So far, CAMFT has supported more than 2.6 million students to attend primary and secondary school in countries including Zambia, where Prince Harry visited earlier this month. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are also understood to want to work together as roving Commonwealth youth ambassadors. Other areas of focus for Meghan could include her interests in the arts and female empowerment. Meghan and the Queen, who must approve her charity choices, met for tea at Buckingham Palace earlier in December to discuss the Duchess' new roles. The Queen is patron for more than 600 organizations and charities but in recent years has delegated 25 patronages to younger members of the royal family.